Hello, Scorpio, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. All right, we do have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. For some of you, you could be connecting with a Gemini. Specifically, doesn't necessarily have to be the case, of course, but we'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today. But let's focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. My hands are freaking freezing right now. Okay. How does Scorpio currently view this relationship? <clears throat> We got the Four of Pentacles. We also have the King of Cups, which is your energy. And then we also have the Nine of Cups. This is an energy of playing it cool. But um, between you and I, I kind of feel like this is an overall energy of you just kind of playing it cool. The bottom of the deck, we have a Queen of Pentacles, which I feel like this is the person you're dealing with between you and I. Kind of feel like whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, man, this is somebody who's all that and a bag of chips. With the Queen of Pentacles, man, to the Ten of Pentacles, this is somebody who could very well be financially well off. Um, this could also be somebody who owns their own business, but this is somebody who doesn't need a man or a woman to take care of them. Like, what more can you, I mean, what more can you honestly ask for? And I also kind of feel like this Queen of Pentacles slash High Priestess is somebody who could very well be intuitive, um, but this is also somebody who's extremely mature. This this right here, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, this is somebody who's all that in a bag of chips, regardless of their gender. I mean, this could be a dude for all I know. But I kind of feel like this is somebody that you're currently connecting with. And I kind of feel like you like what you see but I also kind of get this energy from you that you don't want to come off like extremely, and I can't find another word, like thirsty. Like you don't want to be drooling over this Queen of Pentacles. You see what I'm saying? So I kind of feel like you're just trying to play it cool currently at the moment. Like, yeah, I like them. They're cool. Yeah, whatever. Come on. I kind of feel like whoever this person is, man, they're all that in a bag of chips. I just kind of see you kind of playing it cool. Like, yeah, they're cool. Like, yeah, I like them. You know, it's no biggie. All right, Scorpio, go on with your bad self. Man, I like this person. Whatever it is that you're connecting with. How does this person currently view this relationship? Now, when it comes down to this Queen of Pentacles, something to just be mindful of is that I feel like this person, this one here, this person right here they just recently experienced an ending here between them and another person now currently at the moment i kind of feel like this person is kind of working on moving past this ending here um so a lot of healing is currently taking place within this person's life um but yeah just something to be aware of i mean i don't see why it, it i mean you know i just feel like this person recently experienced an ending here but I feel like they're getting over it. Yeah, I feel like they're getting over it. This feels like a fairly new person, to be completely honest, um, Scorpio. This does feel like a fairly new person, so I'm not entirely sure why you have released your ex. Um, the only thing that I can honestly think of is why you're actually getting released your ex is the simple fact that this person just recently experienced an ending here. So they may not be ready, Scorpio, to fully put themselves back out there all over again. See, yeah, pretty much. That's what I'm getting. Like they might not be ready to like fully put themselves out there all over again. Um, so this is somebody that you have to be extremely patient with, especially because I feel like this ending here between them and this person took a massive toll on them. So just be extremely patient with this Queen of Pentacles because I kind of feel like there's still a lot of healing that's taking place within this person's life. But you're just like, yeah, I like them. They're cool. You know, I think that you really like them like a whole lot. But I think that you're just trying to play cool. Like, yeah, whatever. You know, they're cool. You know, I like them, you know. All right. <laughs> Let's keep going. How does this person feel yeah this is somebody that you have to be extremely patient
patient with, obviously due to the circumstances, right? Um, because it's somebody who recently experienced an ending here. But we have the Six of Wands with the Four of Pentacles, and then we also have the Three of Pentacles. All right. When it comes down to how this person feels about this relationship with you, I mean, this person feels pretty confident that the two of you can honestly come together and build towards a partnership with one another. However, with that Four of Pentacles energy being out here and the Three of Pentacles being out here, this is someone who is going to start to open up to you and this connection with you slowly. Okay, um, especially because again, going back to you know the situation at hand, this is somebody who recently experienced an ending. Um, I kind of feel like this person, I almost want to say, suffered a lot with this person that they were connecting with. Um, I, I kind of feel like this person did suffer a lot with this person, unfortunately, uh, for them. So again, this is just somebody that you have to be extremely patient with. How does Scorpio feel? All right. We have judgment. We also have the lovers. And then we have the seven of cups. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the six of wands. And then we also have the three of swords. For some of you, this person is going to bring to your attention that they recently experienced an ending here between them and another person. I kind of feel like they're going to let it be known. Like, yeah, you know, I'm single. I just recently experienced an ending, like things of that nature. It might put you in this place of kind of questioning whether or not, you know, this person's honestly ready to start a new chapter with you. It might even cause you to basically feel like this person might still want to be with this person from their past. Uh, no, I, I can tell you that much. I don't feel like this person wants to be with this person from their past. I think that they're pretty much done and over, you know, with this relationship between them and whoever it is that they were connecting with. I just feel like this person suffered a whole lot uh, with whoever it is that this person uh, or whoever it is that they were dealing with. But for some of you, you might start to jump down this rabbit hole of, well, you know, like maybe they still want to be with their ex because they're not fully opening up to me. So maybe that's because they still want to be with their ex. No, 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 no. I wouldn't go as far to, to say that. I feel like they're pretty much done and over, you know, with their ex. They don't want to return back to their ex whatsoever. But like I said, I just kind of feel like this is somebody that you have to be extremely patient with if in fact you do want to establish a relationship with them. What actions? Da, 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 da. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles. And then we also have the Knight of Wands. This is why I say you have to be patient with this person. What actions? Da, 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 da. We have the King of Cups. True pair situation here between you and this person. And then we have the Seven of swords and then we also have the king of wands all right let's let's talk about it i kind of feel like this relationship is going to have a very difficult time getting off the ground here between you and them it doesn't mean that there's not potential here because i do see the potential here um between you and this person however i kind of feel like the both of you are going to start to catch feelings for one another rather quickly okay and I feel like that's going to scare the living shit out of this person. I need to put a sticky note that says do not cuss. Because I turned 28 and I don't know what the hell happened to me that I'm like constantly. I wouldn't say constantly cussing, but I'm cussing a lot more and I don't like it. But anyways, let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. Okay. I feel like the two of you are going to catch feelings for one another rather quickly. And I do see that happening, even though you're playing, you know, as you know, you're playing it cool right now as a cucumber, but it's gonna happen, dude. It's just gonna happen, okay? I feel like you're gonna start to grow feelings for this person rather quickly, and I feel like this person is gonna start to grow feelings for you rather quickly. So, with that being said, I feel like it is gonna scare the shit out of this person. I do, and it might even cause this person to run in the complete opposite direction of you. Now, I kind of feel like that's where things are gonna get a little bit complicated because they are going to start to distance themselves from you mainly because they're starting to catch feelings for you and it might lead you to think okay they're probably acting this way towards me because they want to be with this fucking king of wands all over again i could assure you that that's not the case that's definitely not the case i just feel like 
they weren't expecting to catch feelings for you so freaking quickly. And now that they're going to basically come to terms with the fact that, you know, they're actually growing a lot of feelings for you, is starting to scare them so much to the point where it's causing this person to think they might be putting themselves in that, you know, you know, position to get hurt and disappointed all over again. And it is scaring the shit out of this person. That's the best way I can kind of describe what I'm seeing. This is just like a huge misunderstanding, unfortunately, between you and this person moving forward. But I can assure you this much, Scorpio, they're not distancing themselves or pulling away from you because they want to go be with this damn King of Wands. I don't feel like they want anything to do with this King of Wands, to be completely honest. I feel like they want everything to do with you. But again, there's just a lot of healing that needs to take place on this person's end. And I kind of feel like nobody was expecting this to happen. Like, I don't feel like you were expecting to fall for this person so quickly. And I don't feel like this person was expecting to fall for you so quickly. And then, you know, when the two of you kind of come together and then now, you know, this person's starting to kind of realize, oh shit, I actually have feelings for Scorpio. They're going to more than likely distance themselves. They might even self-sabotage things here between you and them. Yeah. I don't feel like they mean to do this. I just kind of feel like this person is its just scared. They're just scared. And it's going to lead you to think that they want to be with the king of wands. When in all actuality, they don't. I just feel like they're getting scared. Like I said, I feel like they want this. I feel like they really want this with you. But you know what I mean? It's like this person's past is getting in the way. It's their past that's getting in their way. It's their experience with this King of Wands that's getting in the way. That's basically what it is. They want this with you. Don't get me wrong, they do. But they're just scared that they're putting themselves in that position to get hurt all over again. But that's double confirmation right there that they don't want anything to do with their ex whatsoever. They don't. So I do see a little bit of a misunderstanding, unfortunately. Um, but I can assure you they don't want to be with this person from their past. They're just getting extremely scared. I don't feel like anybody was expecting for this to happen. I just feel like the two of you just fell for one another rather quickly, even though you're kind of playing it cool. The two of you are just going to fall for one another rather quickly, and it's, it's going to scare the living shit out of this person over here. Um, and it might cause this person to self-sabotage things or even pull away from you but I can assure you that they really do want this relationship between you and them I just kind of feel like this requires a lot of patience if you really want to be with this person you have to be extremely understanding that this is that type of person dude that loves hard they love fucking hard and the last thing that they want to do is put themselves in that position to get hurt all over again not saying that you're going to hurt them all over again but they don't know that you see what I'm saying so just just try to be understanding and don't jump to this conclusion, right, that, oh, it's because they still want to be with this, you know, douchebag. No, they don't. They don't. I could assure you of that. They don't. We have soulmate. We also have engagement. Make the effort and give your relationship a chance. It's going to be a little bit challenging, dude, to get this relationship off the ground, mainly because this person just recently experienced an ending. And that's just something that you have to be extremely understanding of. Um, but I see things working out. I'm not worried. I don't feel like the two of you are going to break up and they're going to go their way and you're going to go your way. No, I don't even see that happening. I'm just getting like a huge misunderstanding here. So when this actually does happen, remember me, okay, in the reading that I just did for you because... Again, a lot of you are going to jump down to this conclusion of, well, they just want to be with their ex. No, they don't. They don't. They don't. They really, really don't. And this is double confirmation that they don't. All right. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.